His Excellency Michel Vertu, Ambassador of the Sovereign Order of Malta to the United Nations, other Excellencies, officials, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Human trafficking constitutes a severe and intricate form of exploitation, cruelly robbing individuals of their rights, freedoms and human dignity. It represents an affront to our collective humanity, inflicting harm on individuals and communities worldwide, compromising national and economic security and eroding the rule of law. This reprehensible practice has no place in our global society. Despite the ratification or accession of over 175 nations to the United Nations Protocol to Prevent, Suppress and Punish Trafficking in Persons, which meticulously defines human trafficking and establishes obligation to deter and combat this crime, progress remains uneven. Victims of human trafficking frequently bear the legal burden of illicit activities committed as a direct result of their trafficking circumstances. These actions not only encompass specific forms of exploitation such as prostitution or engagement in illegal work, but also the associated immigration, administrative and civil offenses. However, it is crucial to underscore that the spotlight of investigations and prosecutions should shine largely on the criminal actions of traffickers. These perpetrators, not their victims, are legally accountable for the precise exploitive forms enforced upon the victims. A lack of this nuanced understanding by states results in risk of re-traumatizing of victims who may be wrongfully arrested prosecuted and convicted for crimes committed while ensnared in the trafficking system. Such misapplication of the law could detrimentally affect victims, infringe upon their rights and discourage collaboration with legal proceedings and compromise the wider justice system. Notably, this situation continues to disproportionately impact women and girls worldwide. In the landscape of human trafficking victims' rights, the principle of non-punishment is the cornerstone of the human rights protection in international, regional and domestic laws. This concept deserved substantial prominence as it relates to the inviolable legal right of victims to protection. Prosecuting trafficking victims flagrantly violates their rights to protection. Non-punishment provisions thus serve the dual purpose of extending the legally deserved protection to trafficking victims and preventing re-trafficking, while simultaneously ensuring that the actual perpetrators are brought to justice. This approach aligns with the objectives outlined in the preamble of the Palermo Protocol. Moving forward, governments should abstain from penalizing or prosecuting trafficking victims for unlawful activities forced upon them by their traffickers. This principle shields victims from legal accountability from actions they were coerced to do by their traffickers. If a victim has been wrongfully penalized or punished, governments should vacate the, the convictions and expunge their records. The post-COVID-19 era offers states, international organizations and communities a great opportunity to evaluate and re-energize actions on this issue. Key initiatives should include the development of statutory defenses in national law, training across the judicial systems and law enforcement and assistance services to support victim identification and the integration of non-punishment principles into anti-trafficking frameworks. Applying these principles in a non-discriminatory age and gender responsive manner is an imperative step towards meeting state social and legal obligation towards victims of human trafficking. Thank you.